Hello my friends, Paula here. And as you can see, this man is not my friend. Now, I was in the middle of besieging a castle belonging to the Kurgits, and I had to build a siege tower, which was going to take a few days. And just as it was winding down to being complete, this man decides to come and attack me. Luckily for me, and I hope this is going to work, I'll tell you in a second. Yeah. No. Bollocks. Okay, well, I had a uh, another lord with me. And I guess he's not jumping in this fight, so it's just going to be my troops against Count Grainwad. So, let's quickly take care of it. Please be flatland. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're on hold position. Hold position. Get out of the bloody way. Come on, move. Son of a... Son, move, 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 move. Archers, get up on the hill. That's it. Cavalry. Let's get them all out of this mess. Come on, rain hell on them. Probably should have waited until they got closer, because... I mean, I've got the, all these archers that don't seem to hit anything. Anyway. Go on, lads. Do what you do best. They have a lot of ground troops, I've noticed. Oh yeah, straight into their infantry. That's going to work. That's going to work wonders. Oh, and since uh, he's there wearing all that, it's worth pointing out, I do have one of my on guard back, Nizar, which is pretty cool. That's it, infantry up front, they stop the uh, enemy from getting to my archers. That works nicely. Cavalry, come back, come back. Okay, cavalry. Now you charge. Into them, brothers. I miss my axe, just shatter shields. Perhaps if I max my strength out I can do that pretty easily, I don't know. Oh, now I'm taking images, that's not good. Could have been when I played Mountain Blade 1. You could ride your horse into people and you'd knock them out almost, you know, one go or two. In here it doesn't seem to happen as much. Okay, I trust my infantry. That's my archers. Too many of them there. Oops. 
don't lose folk. I'm not happy about that. Whoa, okay, well, what's going on here? Okay. The infantry is faster than me. Uh, the enemy, that is, the uh, cavalry. The game seems to be. I don't want to blame it on technical difficulties, but my game seems to be a bit slower than normal. Which is odd, to say the least. Alright, hey, where is he? He's the one I want. Whoever he is, get back here. There we go. Who was he? Just a knight. Hmm, I haven't seen a knight looking like that before. There we go, there we go, come on. Keep it up, boys. I don't know if I'm going to have the strength to uh, go after the key poles once again. Okay, where are my where are my troops? Come on, what's going on? What's going on? I need everyone to regroup because right now we are split up. That's going to get us killed. My marksmen are getting kills though, so that's good. Careful there. Uh. How are we doing? Victory, man, look at this battlefield. Look at all those arrows. <laughs> that was a good scrap. I lost a lot of people more than I would have liked. Battle's not won yet. We got a steepish hill here, I'm hoping it'll go down. I'll be careful as well, my health. I'm not doing too good. Come on everyone, follow me up here. Well, I've told them to stop, so that's my own fault. Come on guys, get up here. Hey, come on. Let's see if I can distract him a minute. That's it, that's it, there we go, there we go. This is a perfect setup for my archers. Oh my cavalry's got to be careful, this is a dangerous place to be. So, 
I'm definitely looking towards taking over the rest of uh, this land. So I'm trying to, right now, my goal is to get rid of the uh, Kurgits. I wonder if I should make peace with the Rodox just for the moment, long enough to uh, take them out without having to worry about Because I mean, if I was at peace, they wouldn't have attacked me here. Getting rid of the Kurgis is a really good uh, move at the moment, I reckon. Although it will mean there'll be, you know, three superpowers instead of, yeah, well, three other factions. I don't know the Ro if I'd consider the Rodox superpower at the moment, mostly because I've weakened their force. Oh, I'm hurting. Mostly because I've weakened their force from various battles and such. Even if I, yeah, I'm gonna have to abandon that siege. That's annoying. God, where is he? Drop his horse. No need. Cos doing a bang up job here. I think I need. Um, Problem is, I think I need the Rodok sharpshooters because the crossbow seems to get more kills than the archers. Even though my archers are, you know, laying waste with all these arrows, they're just not getting the amount of kills that I've liked. I'm letting him go because you see the relation with him, that's pretty high. Higher than some of my lords, so if I were to... If I were to, um... If he joined me, you know, he'd already be up there, you know, he'd be happy with me. I should have been doing this in the first place. But, uh, oh well. So we got some gears to sell, that's good, that's good, the way I like it. Who can upgrade? The only thing I don't like about doing sieges is you can never access any menus, so you can't upgrade people and whatnot. Yeah, my force is pretty wounded. I'll have to come back to that castle at uh, another time. How's my food doing? I've got a bit of food still. Oh, I was just about to come over here and siege this castle, but it seems like my... Uh... Oh, well done. Well done. <laughs> well, they beat me to it. Uh, good on them. They just took this castle back. Bloody good show. Okay then, so I have a feeling my biggest threat, my the biggest f issue is going to be when I go to war with the Vegas. To be honest, not so much the well, the Nords will be a problem, but the way I see it is that my cavalry will roll over most of the uh, Nord armies, but it's when they have other lords in there who have different, you know, troops. That's when it's a problem. But the Vegas will be tough. I really do need to take this back, but it's pretty well defended. Right now, though, it makes more sense to take out these chaps and get that sorted and out of the way. I don't know how many times Wayne Castle and uh, Carath Castle down here have changed hands. A lot, though. Come on, move it. Yeah, it's 
too fast for me. <laughs> Sod him. I want to make sure I've got enough food. If I was to play through this campaign again, I'd definitely stick with a faction longer and get every, all the lords to like me and so on. I don't know though. Because that's just going to mean you're going to make one faction a complete superpower. That's a masterwork Nomad Sabre. But this is a the bastard sword I was using. It's chipped, but it's better than nothing. It still does the same damage. I'll take it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Steady on there, didn't want to get rid of that. Okay, there's no gear I want. Fair enough. So my force just got a a little weak in there. I'm gonna have to re-recruit and uh, train them up a bit but then I'm going to have to go back out take one of these castles, I'm not sure which I believe two of these, I'm not sure which ones though you need a siege tower and then another is just ladders, so that the ladders one may be the best to go for but I was trying to get this one just because it's like on the border here it's like the mountain pass so that would be a good one to take but yeah, th this faction is almost gone I'm just wondering who's going to strike me first, the Nords or the Vegas, because right now... Vegas would be the most issue, not only because of the troops they they uh, use, but, I mean, if you look, they've basically got me surrounded on all sides. So, yeah. In fact, let's have a quick look. Um... Who's at war with who, eh? Nords, who are they fighting? Nords are at war with the Kyrgyz... Okay, so they're going to wipe them out, probably. Ah, that's new. 9% of Lords are disgruntled, 4% are restless. I don't get that, okay. I'm hoping Nords aren't going to give me any grief. I don't have many lords here either, I need to get some more. Bloody lord, uh, this jerk. He's hateful towards you. Yeah, well screw him. I was trying to take over that keep. He's right next to me. He's got like uh, 40 folk. And he gets into a fight with another, with Kurgitz. Uh, so, just before he's wiped out, I abandon the siege, rush over to help him. Help him, and he's like, oh, I'd have won that. Uh... Throws insults at me. He's a right jerk. Glad to get rid of him, to be honest. The Vegas are either. I think the Vegas were at the peace with one of these factions. Anyway, we've almost got it. But, uh, yeah, that's the plan. That's the game plan. And that's it for this video. We will get rid of this faction. They've got to go. That's it. There's no other way about it. A quick question now. I'll leave, uh, leave you with. Do you want me to record every single keep siege I do? Because I, they are fairly interesting and you know, you're either going to win it or you're not. The reason why I ask is because if not, then I can actually carry on and try and take over some of these keeps that are going to take a while, like building the siege tower and sort of stuff, because I know mostly they're, they're all the same in my head, all the keep sieges. I know I've got a lot of keeps to take here as you can see, but if you want me to speed it up so we can sort of get rid of this faction and start pushing back, you know, I can do that. I can certainly do that. Because I do want to control all of this land. The sooner the better. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.